This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Millions of creators, buyers, and sellers, billions of products. Use our code EVERYDRINK10, save 10% off orders of $50 or more. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the coat. Chocobo. Chocobo recipe. This is a Chocobo cocktail. From Final Fantasy. From, from Final Fantasy, that's right. Uh, this recipe was created, invented, or found by Evil Doe. Uh, I'm guessing that's not your real name. This recipe is going to have four ounces of cranberry juice. So I wanted to use the rest of this cranberry juice, and I'm probably going to need more, so I've got that there. Uh, we got some cognac, and we've got a little... Quantro. So it was really Quantro cognac, little sweet sour mix in my little Ziploc. A little? No, a lot. Two ounces. It's there's not, not a really lot of much of an in alcohol here. in here. This is true. There's not a lot of alcohol. It's going to be built in a Collins glass. Oh, now that I remembered, people keep asking what the hell this is. It's a tattoo. It's a wolf. See? Ah! It's a wolf howling at the moon. For those who have always been wondering, and I have them on my feet, but everybody's like, what's a good tattoo? Your feet? <laughs> Oh, my feet, that would hurt. No, the, uh, what do they call those? Calf muscles? Calf, Calf. yeah. Leg. Couple on the, couple on the leg. Gotta get one over here, maybe this year. Just still gotta figure out what I wanna do. I was thinking of doing, like, a tiki, like a tiki post or something. That would be cool. Like, you know, something tiki. But you know what? That's not the show for this. That's right. Chocobo cocktail. (laughs) So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build it in a cocktail glass. Um, no, Collins. Collins glass. Sorry. Um, and four ounces of cranberry juice, two ounces of sour mix, one ounce of uh, cognac, and three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau. We're going to do... I should probably wipe this off before I use it. We're going to do three quarters Cointreau. So you should get a very kind of like an oaky orange, maybe a little bit. I don't think you're going to taste much alcohol, to be honest. There's probably a good chance. The oak will probably come through. Well, I don't know. Yeah, this is this is really really nice. <laughs> Whoa, that's oh, huh, huh, that was funny. For a second, I don't know why I thought there was a stopper on here, like a, like the the they, plastic. Uh, I started pouring it and like freaking water falls out on me. So that was dumb. And we'll do sweet sour. Oh, I also forget to mention we're gonna do an. We're going to squeeze the lime and drop it in. That's kind of the garnish, and it kind of plays off the sweet-sour mix, where the sweet-sour mix is going to have a specific sweetness and sour balance to it. What we want to do is give it a a hint of fresh lime. And if you go to everydaydrinkers.com to our latest podcast where we interviewed a mixologist who basically said, look, regardless of what you do, even if you want to to make a scaled amount of drinks, like a ton of drinks – Buy a few limes. You might even use lemonade, but you squeeze the limes in at the last minute to get that extra sour factor because it, it gives a little more bite to it that you lose by having the uh, lime juice out in the air for too long because the oxidation actually burns off a lot of that sp- its bite. Like cooking jalapenos. It very Yeah, it can actually... Oh, come on. A half an ounce. Did you already open this? Mm-hmm. Okay, you took a sip. Mm-hmm. All right. I didn't know if, like, that. I got that out of the closet half open. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is scary now. <laughs> but I think it'll be good. You're all set. I'm good. Squeeze. Unfortunately, I'm kind of using the tip of the the, the edge of the lime because I, I needed to garnish for something else. That is pretty nice. It's a darker red with a nice vibrant green top garnish brought down to the orange. So you're going to get a lot more alcohol down here, I'm guessing. Orange? Or like it orange? Pinkish. Pink? Kind Pink of to peach. Bright. Peach. Peach to oh, red. Peach. peach to red. So this is probably going to taste a little bit like cranberry juice until we get down to the meat of the situation. Or you could stir it, but I don't know where the heck I'd, I'd get a stir for that. I could use like my, <laughs> don't my, know where my, you'd my get party a stir. paddle. Stir it in there. Could you give away some more party paddles? No, no alcohol at all. It's kind of tasty. Not even the oak? No, it's there's a lot of cranberry juice. No. 
Not really a lot of oak. Kind of smooth and sour at the same time. And uh, huge acids. Lots of like that lemonade style acid. The sweet sour mix with the cranberry juice. You get a little dryness. You get a little sweet, a little sour. Kind of plays everything. Balances really well. Can't say that I taste a lot of Cointreau or Cognac. And there's an ounce of Cognac someplace in here. Let me try it again. No, not a lot of Cognac at all. So if you're looking for a drink that's almost lemonade style, juicy, delicious, really makes me hungry. Like that, you get you start to salivate. To describe a drink. No, but look, if you're having a barbecue and you're you got the barbecue going right, you got all the. Did you serve these ahead of time to make people hungry? Yes. If you have, if you're starting, Why do you point at me. Because you're right. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're cooking on the grill, you've got the stuff laid out. You get the burgers. You're like, oh, I got ten minutes. You bring these things out. People are gonna they're gonna be they're. You're delicious. gonna have to cook extra burgers. You're gonna probably have to cook extra burgers. So think about that ahead. If you're gonna make this, buy extra burgers for the chocobo, and and then well not for the chocobo because they don't <laughs> they're, they're not meat eaters, <laughs> but bring all that together. How do you know? I don't really know. I, all right I, then, I, you shouldn't talk. Never actually asked any of the Final Fantasy creators. Chocobo is a vegetarian. Um, so if you're looking for something to wet the appetite before you really dive into a, a burger or a hot dog, I think this is something that would be pretty neat. Hot day, a little refreshing, a little dry, a little sweet, a little sour, a little everything. There you go. That is the Chocobo cocktail, and it's pretty pretty cool looking. So, And I think I drank a little bit of it. Tasty. I'm your host, Eric Schober. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv. If you don't want to go there, you just head over to alcoholsbyvolume.com and you can watch that show too. We're teaching you how to drink.